Hey guys, welcome to day eight of Funuary. Today's video is called, Don't Play With Your Food? <laughs> so I wanna start by saying that I am very grateful that growing up my parents never told me not to play with my food, so I never had to deal with any limiting belief about that. But I feel like I was a really good eater growing up. I just pretty much ate whatever my parents fed me, like I was not a picky eater, I was never like playing with the food on my plate. If I was given food, I would eat it. I was always a really good eater. Um, but yesterday I talked about how social media is something I really love, it's super fun, and I've said in the past like I'm an artist, what is my medium social, and because of social media I've now made fruit another artistic medium and I love it. I love looking at the colors and the textures of fruit and creating beautiful fruit platters. So I guess maybe like years ago when I started on the raw vegan path I got really into making my fruit displays really pretty and making my food really pretty because I really wanted to grow my social media and I looked at what other popular raw vegan accounts had and they had really beautiful photos and I've always loved art and it was a really cool way to be artistic like I was never using my artistic talents in my everyday scenarios and so this was a really cool way to make the food that I was eating and this raw vegan lifestyle super fun and it's only been recent that I've really like stepped up my fruit platter game and <laughs> just really made my favorite fruit displays. I'm really getting into making beautiful fruit platters that I am naming, so kind of like a painting. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing the art, I'm seeing each individual photo that I'm taking of the fruit platter as like a painting. It's an image that I am naming. It's just been really fun for me to do this. I'm having a lot of fun trying different fruits and incorporating them into my fruit platters. And when I make my fruit platters, I just wanted to talk about my process, which is, it's basically like very divinely inspired. I really don't think about it at all. I basically just start by cutting up the fruit just however I feel called to. And then I kind of like place it on the plate almost like asking like God or the angels or whatever like where would you have me place this and you may have seen people do this when they're like spiritual people and they're like decorating home for example they're like where would you have me like place you you know they're like talking to the the spiritual entities <laughs> the non visible entities and I don't really, I'm not really like conscious of this process, but I would say that if I had to describe it, that's basically how it is. It's like, I just cut up the fruit and I'm kind of like, okay, like where does this go? And then I work on the next fruit. Okay, where does this one go? And I start to see something unfold. So it's like, oh, okay, this looks like this. And then I, within a couple pieces, I'm like, okay, like I can make, this look like this so it kind of like happens for me and it's like told to me and then I'm like oh, okay and I see it and it's like I can see the whole process like I can see okay this is what I want the platter to eventually look like now and then I'm like okay I know what I want the Instagram post to look like now and I know how I want to share about it on Instagram like it all just kind of unfolds because I've been practicing this a long time. It's not like I suddenly became a beautiful food artist. <laughs> you know, I've been doing this for about five years and I definitely took a long time off. Like I, it was about eight months that I took off from Instagram and even like within that time period and beyond that time period, I wasn't even posting food photos at all. So it's definitely been like I needed a break from it. I needed to just work on myself and my healing and I came back to it and it's been 
a really fun way to embrace this lifestyle, to just have fun, even more fun on social media, and just to be artistic and creative in a whole new way. So I wanted to be sure to share this video with you. I'd love to know your comments and questions in the comments section down below. I wish you a wonderful Valentine's Day. Uh, for me, I'll be spending Valentine's Day by myself because I am my greatest Valentine. <laughs> um, but I will have a friend over for the weekend, so I'm excited about that. So I'm wishing you guys a wonderful Valentine's Day. I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys, see you soon, bye.